Hello and welcome to the 18 WJTS News on this Friday, October 25th. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I'm Joey Rowe reporting. On a recent social media post, the Pike County Sheriff's Office shared the successful recovery of multiple stolen items taken from a local business. The operation followed a series of thefts reported on Friday, October 18th and Saturday, October 19th. After receiving initial information about the incidents, deputies swiftly distributed photos of the unidentified suspects and their vehicles to all deputies and surrounding agencies. On the morning of October 21st, the original complainant notified deputies that the stolen items were listed for sale online. In response, deputies ar arranged a meeting to retrieve the items in Evansville. With support from the Evansville Police Department's Detectives Division, Street Crimes Unit, SWAT, and the Vandenberg County Sheriff's Office, the two primary suspects were taken into custody and most of the stolen items were recovered and returned to the business. The Pike County Sheriff's Office commended the dedication and teamwork of deputies involved, including Deputies Manning, Meters, Sergeant Simmons, Sergeant Detective Arnold, and Chief Deputy Killian. Their collaborative efforts and continued training were key to the operation's success and recovery of the stolen property. As of Friday, both subjects have not been publicly identified. In a post late last night on the Optimist Club of Jasper's Facebook page, the club announced its annual Presidents and Optimist of the Year awards, honoring two standout members for their dedication and impact. The President's Award was pre presented to Kelly Kleesner, praised for her commitment to growing the club's social media presence and enhancing its community visibility. Over her years of service, Kleesner has taken on the role of marketing team chair, ensuring the club's activities and events are well documented and shared, fostering community engagement and awareness. As a board member, her leadership and passion for the club have been instrumental in keeping it vital and grounded. The Optimist of the Year Award was awarded to Jessica Maringer for her outstanding contributions to youth development through the Octagon Club, which now boasts over 200 members. Maringer's efforts extend to mentoring grade school students and initiating programs like the Jasper Mental Attitude Award for young softball athletes. She has also served on the board, led the TriStar Basketball event, and presented scholarships at the Jasper High School Award Ceremony. Her dedication has made a significant impact and her leadership continues to inspire members and the community alike. West Boggs Park in Martin County is gearing up for its annual Halloween Hoot Nanny on October 26th, promising a full day of family-friendly activities, contests, and spooky fun. The event, which will run from morning until evening, includes a variety of engaging experiences for all ages, from crafting and face painting to pumpkin carving, costume contest, and trick-or-treating. The festivities will kick off at 11 a.m. on Saturday with crafts and face painting at, at the Activity Center, followed by a popular chili brew at 1 p.m. at the Red Fox 21 campsite. Chili will be available for purchase until sold out with all proceeds going to charity. Donations will be matched by InBridge, doubling the impact. For those eager to show off their creative skills, the pumpkin carving and painting contest will take place from 2 until 4.30 p.m. at the Activity Center, with prizes awarded at 4.30. Simultaneously, the pet costume contest will be held at the stage at 3 p.m. with winners announced at 3.20. The always competitive site decoration judging begins at 3.30 p.m. with prizes given at 4.30. Families can also enjoy hay rides from 4 until 5.30 p.m. with pickup at the Bobcat Bathroom. The fun continues with a costume contest at 5 o'clock on the stage and prizes being awarded at 5.20. The highlight of the evening will be trick-or-treating and will take place from 6 until 8 o'clock. For the safety of trick-or-treaters, no golf carts will be allowed during the first hour from 6 until 7 p.m. As the 2024 general election approaches, early voting options have been made available across Dubois County and surrounding areas, giving residents multiple opportunities to cast their ballots before Election Day on Tuesday, November 5th. In Dubois County, early voting started back on Tuesday, October 8th at the Courthouse Annex in Jasper. 
Voting hours are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. Additionally, voting will be available on this Saturday, October 26, from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. and Saturday, November 2, from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. The Saturday voting sites include the 35th Street Fire Station in Jasper, the Huntingburg Event Center, Ferdinand YMCA, and the Courthouse Annex. For a full list of surrounding counties' early voting hours, you can visit our website. The Downtown Jasper Merchants have announced Music on Main is returning to the Jasper Square. The event featuring free live music will take place from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. every Saturday in October and also November. Music on Main is an opportunity to shop, grab lunch to go, and bring it to the square to enjoy live music, showcasing a lineup of different artists each week. The Music on Main this Saturday, October 26, will be performed by the band Sold Separately. The Orange County Economic Development Partnership, or the OCEDP, is awarded $50,000 in grants to local businesses as part of its first ever small business grant program. The initiative aimed at promoting the growth and development of small businesses in Orange County received 27 applications, requesting over $200,000 in total funding. Among the grant recipients are Potoka Pines RV Campgrounds, and they will use the funds to add an ADA-compliant patio campsite, a shelter house, and a dog park. Elite Therapeutic Massage and Tanning will invest in facade improvements for their Paoli location, while HD Graphics will purchase a new Roland printer to increase production. A Bark Above plans to buy hydraulic grooming tables and additional equipment. Green Acres Golf will allocate the grant towards purchasing a truck to support business operations. JNS Sportswear plans to expand production capabilities with the purchase of a DTF Station Prestige R2 Pro Shaker and Oven Bundle. And Wild Polka Dots will use the funding for building renovations to create a studio space for classes and local artists. The Small Business Grant Program was open to brick and mortar businesses with 30 or fewer employees in Orange County. OCEDP encourages local entrepreneurs to explore the resources available through the partnership. More information can be found on our website. Indiana Attorney General Todd Rakita is defending the voter registration investigation he and Secretary of State Diego Morales requested of the federal government. The two sent a letter on October 11 to U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services asking them to verify a list of names and birth dates for over 585,000 registered voters, equal to around 12 percent of the state's total. Rakita says a response has not been received. He says there are questions about the citizen status of those voters and he will pursue felony charges against any non-citizen who votes. Starting November 1st, Perry County Memorial Hospital is excited to announce a new partnership with Owensboro Health, bringing expanded general surgery services to the local community. This collaboration will significantly increase access to quality surgical care, ensuring that residents no longer need to travel far for their medical needs. As part of this agreement, Owensboro Health will rotate six general surgeons through Perry County Memorial Hospital, along with an additional five surgeons who will be available in an on-call rotation. This ensures a steady availability of skilled professionals offering convenience and peace of mind to patients seeking surgical care. Perry County Memorial Hospital's long-standing affiliation with Deaconess will remain unchanged, continuing to provide specialized care and essential resources. Together, these partnerships underscore the hospital's commitment to enhancing the health and well-being of Perry County residents. October is a prime time to discover the fascinating world of Indiana's bats. The Friends of Potoka River National Wildlife Refuge are inviting the public to a special educational program titled Bats of Indiana and Beyond. This event will be held tomorrow, Saturday, October 26th at 10 a.m. Central at the Oakland City Public Library. Leading the program is Ryan Slack, a bat expert with 30 years of experience. Slack holds state permits for bat handling and identification and has worked extensively with both state and federal agencies to provide insights on these nocturnal creatures. 
His presentation will delve into the 12 species of bats found in Indiana, focusing on their unique habitats, adaptations, and the importance of these animals in the ecosystem. Attendees will also learn about the myths and realities of bats, including rabies, white nose syndrome, and how bats use acoustic detection for navigation. The program will also include a discussion on bat classification and conservation effort to protect these vital creatures. In the spirit of Halloween, this program is a great opportunity to celebrate bats and their mysterious, misunderstood nature. Join the event to uncover the truth behind Indiana's furry flying residents. And that's a look at news here on 18 WJTS-TV. We will have a check of your weather forecast right after this.